Disclaimer, our podcast is for entertainment only. We are not discrediting anyone who has had any of these paranormal encounters or believes them. Hello, beautiful human beings. It is Mars and SJ here with Undeniable Mysteries. If you aren't already aware, we talk about paranormal stories on the internet and we rank them on how believable they are to us. Our first category is cryptids, and we're going alphabetical order of the United States. And do you want to tell them our state and our cryptid? Um, so our state is Colorado, and our cryptid is the Slide Rock Bolter. Which is a very interesting cryptid because it is whale-like, and I've never seen a cryptid like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so... Even though Bigfoot is a very popular uh, cryptid in Colorado, they have this slide rock um, bolter, which I guess is very famous there, but I've never heard of it. Me neither. Really, very interesting. So, it was reported by mountain residents frequently throughout the 19th and 20th centuries. Um... The beast was said to resemble a finless dolphin with small eyes, a massive mouth, and hand-like hooks on the end of its tail. And it's the size of an entire hillside. Oh. Yep. I just looked on here. It said, how big is the slide rock vulture? It is 25,000 pounds. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. She's Louise. So, okay, let us read on. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Nice. So, SJ's been uh, pretty much. Why is there a line here? Pretty much drawing all these cryptids. I thought it wasn't going at first. <laughs> Sorry, I got freaked out. But yeah, SJ has been drawing all these cryptids, and the <laughs> I don't know how I would draw the slide rock bolter. I feel like I should take a picture of all these and put it on one of you our should, podcasts. You should honestly, you should. So let's see. I've only done it like professionally, like for three of them. So I think you should only do those ones. I'm trying to read more. That one doesn't have much. Let's I mean, read. the slide rock bolter, I didn't really do professionally because I don't know how I Oh, would... he's adorable. He's <laughs> he's fabulous. I love him so much. Um, so, okay, so this cryptid is believed to live in the mountains of Colorado, but only on mountains where the slope is at an angle greater than 45 degrees. Because you know it's got it's got to slide down there. It's got to slide down and gobble up some people. Mm. <laughs> I'm assuming. Hum, I think hum, it gobbles hum. up people. Mm. Um, ooh, okay. So the fearsome animal uses the grab hooks on its divided tail to latch onto the crest of a mountain or ridge. I tried making the side of a mountain. <laughs> It will often <laughs> remain motionless for days at a time. Uh, oh, so once it spots its prey, it will lift its tail to release its hold on the crest. As gravity sends it barreling downhill, it drools grease from the corner of its mouth to increase the speed of its huge body. The bolter scoops its victims into its mouth as it slides down. So the accumulated speed will carry the bolter up the next slope, where it once again grasps the ridge with its tail. Are you Dang. allowed to run? Is that <laughs> illegal? Can you run faster than the bolter? <laughs> is, is, like, is it, could you, like, outrun the bolter, or is that just illegal? <laughs> Let's all go to Colorado and uh, speed run the uh, slide rock bolter. <laughs> and just, like... <laughs> Just, like, wait for it to, like, um, to, like, do the, like, boulder thing, and then just, like, speed, and yeah, try to go as fast as we can, and yeah, let's, risk our uh, lives. Let's, uh, bring a stopwatch with us to see how... <laughs> let's just set up a camera, like, in the background, like, far away, and then zoom in, <laughs> so you can see what it looks like and what happens. I'm trying to find... 
encounters. It keeps saying that people encounter this or whatever. But where? Where does it? I know. Out? It's not really giving me much. It basically saying the same exact thing. Da 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 da. So I guess it was like a tale amongst lumberjacks. Um, so it could honestly just be a myth, but it says Taurus are afraid. Huh, I don't know. Now it's talking about all this mining stuff. We don't want to know about mining. We want to know about the bolter. Yeah, the, the slide rock bolter especially. Let's see, does this one have any encounters? We just might not have any proof or story. It might just be image, maybe. Or maybe there'll be proof, but I don't think there's I don't I don't think there's gonna be any proof. I don't know. I don't see anything. It's gonna be one of those episodes where there's there's no encounters or anything. Like, like the like the white thing. The white thing. We and the tizzeruk. Yeah, the tizzeruk. Yeah. Those two didn't have any proof, so it might just end up the same for this one. I'm gonna typey type in the whole computer here and see. I'm typing on the notepad. More lumberjack. I'll put it closer to the mic so you can hear the tippy taps. <laughs> that, that is my keyboard. Nice, nice, even though it's paper. I, I still believe. I'm gonna draw a tiny Okay, keyboard. so, I mean, it's saying that it's attributed to the many disappearances of Taurus over the years. Um, its method of hunting was also blamed to have destroyed the mining town of Rico. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, okay, there's... <laughs> I don't see any encounters. That's pretty much all it's saying. It's very... It's a very interesting cryptid, to say the least. But just no proof. Yep. So, okay, we got that out of the way. The story and everything. Here are some pictures! Look at that thing. Oh, I love that one. Oh yeah, he's cute. <laughs> he is I think this is my favorite one. I like that. It's very, it's, it, you can see the dribble. And that's so that what, one looks like a whale. That's that's what I tried to draw. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it turned out. All right, so let's get on with the ratings. That's supposed to be my like horn. <laughs> 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 Alright, there's the there's the horn. We don't Thanks. have a we don't have a we don't have a real like goat horn or something, so we, we just made up our those, own. We need one of those like keyboard things that have like sound effects. <laughs> oh a soundboard. Yeah, sound that's board. what I'm thinking of. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm smarter. Are you smarter <laughs> than a fifth grader? <laughs> you mean sixth grader? What's oh, it's a T V show. I don't think it's still around. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Image. What are we rating the image? Hmm. I'd say seven point five out of ten. Seven point five. Okay. Actually, so no, I'm just gonna go with seven. Right. Just go with seven. So okay, 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 okay. So this thing is cute, in mm. my opinion. It looks like a big old worm whale thing. <laughs> it does. Yeah. This one picture makes it look like a worm whale. But the thing is, the thing is, I don't see that. <sighs> it's just so big. It's like, how could you not see that in person? You know, mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's just let's just let's just go in the middle. We're doing a five. Okay, We're doing a five. Okay. Simple, simple five. Yeah, simple five. All right. So story. I I'd, I'd give it a four. A four for the story. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I might do the same as well because uh, since it's saying it's like twenty five thousand pounds, uh, again. Mm -hmm. You think you would see this. This thing is huge. At least one person should have gotten a picture of it. Yeah, so it doesn't seem that likely. And it know? doesn't. It's a fun cryptid. It's a cool looking cryptid. Do not get me wrong. But I don't see that being possible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
All right, and then the proof. Um, there's, there's no proof. There's just stories. Yeah, you know it's gonna be for the lumberjacks made it up. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. They just made it up for fun. All right, all right. Did you tally this up? Immediately. Yes. Immediately. <laughs> Immediately. So if we had proof, probably would have been more. But this one, just a twenty. Just a twenty. So the Alabama white thing is still in last place. <laughs> so <laughs> let us sucked. let us go back. Um, we've got <sighs> the Fresno Nightcrawlers being number one at forty points. I still can't believe mm. like it was one point off. I know. Then second place we got Magyam Monster with thirty nine points. Third place we got the Tizaruk okay. with twenty six and a half. Uh, fourth place is now the Slide Rock Bolter. Um. And then after that is, did I miss any? The, uh, the Falk monster with okay. 13. I think that's how I pronounce it. And then last place is the Alabama White Thing with eight and a half. All right, all right, all right. At least it wasn't like as sucky as the Alabama White Thing. Yeah, this, I, I like the these different kind of cryptids, the ones that we haven't heard of before. This is fun. This is real fun. Mm -hmm. The only one I think we've heard of before is the Fresno Nightcrawler. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I forgot the last couple episodes, I forgot to plug in our Twitter. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but if you guys have any more information of any of these cryptids that we've went over or have any encounters yourself, please go on our Twitter page. Uh, and let us know. Mm-hmm. All right. We Feel will, free. Yeah? Feel free. Yeah. We will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>